Take three guys. Look at that. Got the fingers right first time. Right. <laughs> hey, <laughs> right, when Giggling Gert is finished. Um, today has been an interesting day. Today in my lunch break at work, um, I popped over to the Potbelly Brewery in Kettering, Northamptonshire. Um, I'll put a link to the brewery address, uh, website address below. And uh, I spoke to, I think it was Ian that I spoke to today, I'm sure he said his name. <laughs> I know there's two of them, Ian and Glenn, and I'm pretty sure Glenn um, was working. So, um, the reason that I popped in there today is because we've got an upcoming brewery visit, which I've mentioned probably a couple of times in my Home Brew Wednesday video. I was quite excited about that actually, if not a little bit nervous. You know what it's like guys, not been in front of a camera long. Um, you want to do the best that you can so you know hopefully I can do these guys some justice but um, he's been kind enough to donate four beers the first one of which is uh, Captain Pigwash um, Captain Pigwash <laughs> is a porter and uh, when he said to me do you like porters um, if I'm completely honest I had no idea what a porter was um, I mean you're looking at a guy that up until about a year ago used to go to the bar order a drink, if he liked it, he liked it, he downed it, if he didn't like it, he didn't like it, he didn't have it again, but never put too much thought into it, it's only since I've been brewing that I've kind of been looking at all the subtle differences in this, so, uh, sorry if I looked a little bit um, dumbfounded when you, when you asked me that, but um, I've done a little bit of research and apparently porters originate from the 18th century London, it was used, uh, well, created really by the, the um, transport workers I, I think and I know there's a lot of debate as well so what I've read up might not actually be exact um, there's a, a debate about the differences between a porter and a stout and uh, I think someone um, has said and, and again I, I know that this is in debate um, it's to do with the malt being a chocolate malt not a dark roasted malt um, and I also read somewhere that Guinness, uh, before before Stout was um, decided to, as, a, as a, an own class in, in beer, um, Guinness used to be classed as a super something porter, uh, a super quality porter. Or, um, so I, there's, there's a, a bit of a, a debate. And uh, the information I've been able to find mostly says that basically uh, it was made in the 18th century. It's a mixture of an old ale, a new ale, um, and a mild ale. So, you know, that, that's what it says. Oh, pardon me. I oh haven't even God. had a, I haven't even had a beer yet. Not so, yet. Shut up, you. Shut up. So yeah, Captain Pigwash. Um, what can I tell you? First of all, um, I mean, I love the labels. I'm getting a lot of reflection. Uh, if I can, I'll I'll put it up on the opening. Um, page but yeah fantastic work on on the labels guys um, it says Captain Pig Wash it's a 5% beer uh, Potbelly Brewery Kettering North Ant and I've noticed that they've rather lovingly put uh, the Northamptonshire Rose of the Shires logo um, coming from Northamptonshire you know nice one guys love it um, this is also a bottle conditioned beer and, and do you know what I mean I like that as a home brewer um, all my beers are, are bottle conditioned so I'm kind of feeling a little bit more at home with this um, let's have a look uh, please pour carefully avoiding disturbing any sediment for a clear glass of beer so uh, yep yeah, that's what we can get from the front 5% ABV and on the back uh, it says Situated in Kettering, Northamptonshire, uh, commenced brewing in early 2005 with a view to produce a range of quality real ales using only the best traditional malts and hops in our brewing process to enable us to brew high quality ale with, consistencies. Um, with consistency. Get it right. Our beers are popular throughout the Midlands and have been enjoyed at various beer festivals throughout the country. They have achieved numerous awards, uh, many for beer, a festival. So, um, 
we're hoping for some good stuff here. It also says uh, a beer brewed in the style of a porter using a selection of the finest malts and English hops. Now it doesn't actually tell you what hops, uh, malts or grains or, or anything um, that's been used for this. So, um, you know, I, 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 don't, I don't know. And uh, I'm also going to say that, that when I'm reviewing this, because my, my palate hasn't quite advanced um, all that much yet, I'm probably not going to try and even guess at, at the hops. I'm, I'm, I'm starting to tell the differences in bits, but um, I'm not going to try and guess at the hops. I'm not going to embarrass myself in that way. I'm just going to describe it and um, see what we get. So, um, I can't remember the guy's username now, but I did find another review of this beer. Um, and unfortunately, when he reviewed this beer, it, it seemed very flat. So, you know, I don't know if that was just that particular bottle that he had, although he did do another beer from Potbelly um, that had a, a, the same sort of thing. It, again, it, he opened it and it was quite flat. So, I guess this will answer the question, mate. Is it supposed to be that way? Is that how they brew? Let's find out. It's a bit of a hiss there. Um, yeah, a little bit of smoke coming out the top of the bowl. Instantly, there's an aroma. Um, and I would... What's the I aroma? Would, I would say um, that that is the hops I can smell more than the malt at, at this point. So let, let's give this a pour and... Okay, so um, there you go. This is a very, very dark beer, which um, I mean, I assume most porters are. In terms of being clear, I can't see through the glass, and that was quite a vigorous pour. There's a very good chance that I've upset the, the sediment in that. Um, not really much of a head, and just looking at it, it doesn't look very carbonated. So, um, I think probably what you got is how it's meant to be. Um, let's give this a... Okay, uh, yeah, that's, that's a very, um, it's a very unique um, smelling beer. If I was to guess, I, um, definitely some sort of fruit. There's a lot of fruitiness coming off of this beer. And... Um, Always smell it, sniff it up your nose. Are you sure you're not drinking it with your nose? Um, yeah, it's very, very fruity. I think I can pick up just a little bit of the hops, although I have to say, I don't think it's an overwhelming um, aroma of hops. Um, looking at the beer, like I say, that there's no head. Um, it's very dark, it is clearing up a little bit now. Um, I haven't got a light, I haven't got a torch, so I can't really show that off. Um, so let's just dive in now. I've waffled on for nearly 10 minutes now and I haven't even taken a sip. Yeah, so strangely enough, um, that is very nice. I would say that, uh, I know it's probably not, but I would say that's got a casky, uh, sort of taste to it, like it's been sitting in a cask for a while. Um, the old, you know, the, the old wooden casks. Um, chocolate. I can definitely taste the chocolate malt. I've seen um, a lot of videos with home brewers using the chocolate malt, and I've, I've wondered about the, the, the taste on, on the palate with that. And um, that's coming through quite nicely, but I think... Um, I can't remember his name, but the, the guy that reviewed it said all, all the taste was at the front. And I'm going to partially agree with that. Most of the taste does hit you on the front of the tongue. There is, however, um, a taste on the back of the tongue. Um, and I can't quite place it. But 
but it's there. Uh, again, I would probably say it's that, it's that casky sort of taste that lingers in the back of the throat the most. Um, so, what else to say? Carbonation wise, no, it's not very carbonated. Um, I mean, I'm going to hold that up to the life myself. The, oh, pardon me, there's a little bit of carbonation. Um, no bubbles, but to be honest, I'm not. Oh, there is a, there's a, there's a few bubbles, but then I'm not sure that if this was overly um, carbonated, that it'd do it any favours. I actually quite like this, the way it is, and I'm, and I'm not just you know saying that. This is a really nice beer. You've done a good job, boys. Um, I'm looking forward to trying the rest of them. So keep watching, guys. Um, I hope the review wasn't too bad. And, uh, you know, stay lucky. And uh, if you're interested in the um, in finding out a little bit more about the Potbelly Brewery, keep uh, watching the channel, because hopefully when we get to visit, it won't be too long before we get that put up. Cheers, guys.